Hi everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. Welcome to Tarot Solar Sound Studio. I am Caro. <clears throat> we are going to perform a uh, Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine reading. Uh, so this one is a special one because it is the end of the year. So we are going to see how these energies are doing as we come to the uh, closure. Uh, so we can uh, start fresh for 2024, but I want to see how they are doing at this time. So I have here the Divine Feminine uh, close to me and also the Divine Masculine. Uh, I have formalized this reading uh, with uh, the deck couples and Cos Cos Cosmic Tarot and also the Katina Stesta cards will be helping us. Uh, I am using double decks uh, in this one because I want to see how the energy uh, is overlapping in between them. Are we gonna find the similar cards? Uh, or different versions of it. Uh, so how the, they are going to correspond with each other. Uh, I think it's going to be like a nice cross-section analysis. Uh, and of course, we will also have the Symbolion uh, Tarot here. Uh, if necessary, I will also add other cards actually. I have uh, a couple of decks on my mind, but we will see where the reading is gonna take us. So uh, let me please uh, inform you how I have formulated uh, my spread. Uh, so we need some time to lay down our cards, so bear with me. Uh, so not yet. Uh, I'm going to first uh, give three cards to what is on Divine Feminine's mind. So the first three cards is what is on their mind. This is going to be what is in their heart. And also this is going to be like the real time, what they go through now. This is like more the visible aspect, okay? Uh, and this is like more of like what is in their awareness and what is also here hidden in their heart. So this is how we will do it. Now we are going to do the same thing for the Divine Masculine as well. So yes, we will uh, need some time to lay down our cards. Uh, by the way, uh, while laying down our cards, uh, I want to uh, mention that I have found uh, another copy of Katina's Desta cards, finally. Um, and I will be also introducing you the deck. Because a Turkish version of Katina's Desta cards uh, is not produced. You can just find the faithful copies for, uh, for it. Uh, there are, I mean... There are two types of uh, Katina's Desta cards. One of them is the Greek version and the other one is the Turkish version. Now, Greek versions, you can find it on eBay, I think, or some other uh, places in internet. Uh, but uh, Greek version is different than uh, the Turkish version. I have the Turkish version, which I like best in terms of images uh, and also the... Uh, for reversals, uh, this type of uh, disposition is better. In Greek version, you have just the picture here, so uh, it does not uh, good with the but while taking the reversals of the cards. Uh, but this is, by the way, an original uh, copy. This is the um, sorry. This is the original deck. This is a uh, this is a copy uh, which is uh, pretty much. Uh, faithful to the original copy. Now today, uh, original one, uh, today I want to tell you that I have found another uh, Desta deck. So it is here and it has a very good card stock and it is a bit bigger than this one. You see? And uh, it's a very good uh, card stock and uh, it has the silky on it and the cards are very good and uh, I will let you know what I'm going to do this deck by the end of the reading so 
let's put it here because it may have a new uh, holder. <laughs> Okay, I will uh, explain you by the end of the reading, but uh, I wanted to introduce you the cards. Now, some Katina Stesta cards will be getting in the mixture. So for the Divine Feminine, let's get our cards. Katina Stesta cards can be used alone. Uh, this is what it is mostly uh, preferred, but uh, I so many times in the channel also use them uh, to for combination of cards. I also prefer to use that way. It's just uh, depends on actually how you are comfortable with. Uh, and this is going to be the clarifications. I'm really uh, excited for this reading because I really want to see, I mean, if there is going to be any um, uh, overlapping energy. Uh, in one of our daily tarot readings, we have also found the Empress, by the way. So uh, that day, actually, I was pretty much convinced that I'm going to do a Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine reading. Uh, and uh, we are going to... Uh, find the card in between them uh, by the end of the reading as well but this is a bit long one so I hope you enjoy and let's begin now now let's begin from the past line this is past okay the past line so in the past what the divine feminine was doing uh, okay so we have the Three of Wands and also the reversed fish here. So, uh, okay, I see Divine Feminine in a position where in a place that they can um, maybe choose, choose to like run from something or running away from it um, or in a place where they can actually take their step back. Uh, they have somehow endured and stayed. Um, this is to me a bit a courageous act because uh, fish, reverse fish may sometimes represent uh, a potent uh, enemy. Of course, this can be uh, symbolically. In a more conceptual sense, it can be like a particular opposition. Uh, the opposition occurs, usually uh, we may have tendency to get away, um, how to say, like swimming away from it, uh, like to avoid it. But uh, Three of Wands energy telling me that she has stayed, she has somehow um, waited, like there was a courageous act here. She didn't run away. She didn't um she is it like facing with the opponent or that difficulty is it like uh, facing facing with the opposition yes you know in a way we can say uh she has chosen to stay and face with something she didn't run away okay so here we are actually seeing divine feminine um and also here there is some kind of a uh, uh, meditative uh, energy she's under. She's like concentrating on uh, her uh, next action. Like she was uh, calming her thoughts and uh, she was ready uh, to to act for, forward. She didn't run away. Because I think Divine Feminine thought that the, re the reality was in f is in front of me. And I'm going to think about realistically about this. And um, I will see what's going to happen. I will see what's going to happen. I will see something to the its tail end. I know something can grow deeper. I know something can be strengthened. Um, and I am not going to um, run away from it. So we are 
uh, definitely seeing the divine feminine positioning themselves. Uh, what has divine masculine done? <laughs> divine masculine is flying. <laughs> the, uh, divine masculine is in the acrobatic moves. Eight of us and the fox. Wow, look at this movement towards the divine feminine. It's like, uh, I think divine masculine uh, has taken a lot of courage. It's like from divine feminine, divine feminine just uh, uh, stood, stood there. Like maybe they even made one step further, but there was this tough decision like I'm not running away from anything and the one masculine uh, wanted to like move forward maybe ten tenfold like ten ten steps for further but we have the fox um she, uh, I think divine masculine wa wanted to make um, a bold move but uh, later uh, the fox is telling me that there was uh, like a precaution. There was something they were they didn't do. They didn't wanted to do something wrong. Even they were like very excited. Maybe they wanted to be like super expressive. Um, but uh, divine masculine thinks that. Uh, Fox is actually um, represents intelligence and wit, and it's actually the um, these two things being the uh, weapons of a person. Um, Divine masculine here moves with intelligence, not uh, but there is actually so much running inside of them. Uh, but uh, I think we talk about uh, enemy opposition here. Uh, divine masculine saw what divine feminine is actually dealing with. Uh, they also see that opposition, that difficulty, but they wanted to ap approach it uh, with the fox energy, uh, which is more about like, okay, I perceive this situation, now let me take measure and uh, like some precautions. So there is a, it's they are not hesitant uh, actually, they, are, they want to be very bold, but uh, some rationality answered in, and this has a bit, um, this has a, in a place that they, in a place that they would possibly like fly to the moon, uh, they try to approach more um, uh, cautious to the situation. Uh, but definitely the way that the divine feminine being courageous, I think made also made them bolder here. So both of them has the one's energy. Um, okay, now what was on, on, on the mind of the divine feminine? Another uh, six of wands and the garden. Oh, very, uh, this is uh, very uh, visible. Uh, garden is about meeting uh, with a person, okay? Socializing, meeting, social groups. Uh, six of wands is uh, Jupiter and uh, in Leo. Uh, wanted to make a very bold move in a social occasion, like wanted to see wanted to meet up, wanted to encounter, wanted to um, being like more maybe public, let's socialize, let's, um, or they wanted their position to be seen, to be, to be visible. Uh, and they definitely wanted to um, make something here like so sociable like there was maybe this uh, occasion or meeting um divine feminine wants uh, this glamorous companionship and um and she, she um divine feminine energy it looks for something loyal long term um 
and something proving themselves to be good and they want to just look bold with the partner they want to feel like a queen okay um it's a this energy is um likes to display okay and what we have said we have also said that uh, divine feminine is not running away from something so uh, they are actually being very bo bold but also on their mind there is this uh, disposition like uh, towards showing a warmth uh, being uplifting being inspiring be being generous compassionate you know um, so there was this uh, this energy which is um, which wants to expand and want to get like passionate about life okay so there is a really a warm display uh, of energy there uh, what was uh, going on on, my, on the mind of divine masculine <laughs> oh my god divine masculines uh, we have the death and the sunit now sunit here uh, is a masculine energy yes uh, so there is like a characteristic there like a divine masculine energy let's say getting personified uh, by this uh, card uh, and what does this mean uh, Divine masculine energy knowing that they have come to some kind of an ending. Like they cannot be the same person. Okay? Like there was actually uh, an ending to, to ego. Now, Sunit actually represents a man uh, who are, uh, who are uh, we are in relationship with. It represents actually the relationship, the existing one. Uh, and also the man in our life kind of thing. Uh, that can be here, uh, it may represent selfishness, uh, it may represent great big love, it may re represent uh, love making, it may represent ego, big ego, uh, it may represent uh, intercourse and uh, erotic interest you know and many big concepts actually coming with this card now uh and of course uh, it may represent passionate relationship with a lot of ups ups and downs now here i think uh, with the divine masculine uh some things cannot exist the way that it can it can i mean some things needs to change that uh, something has been like x-rayed to their ego you see the bone here like uh, maybe this is about divine masculine want to see a relationship to to its like bare bones uh, other than the maybe social facade that the divine feminine projected they want to to see something like to the bare bones it can be also uh, their not just in the intercourse way but super intimate uh, also like a physical interest towards divine feminine because this is a Scorpio card so it also represents the intercourse or getting deep with something um, it can be also like as soon as like this social facade they have always uh, maybe projected is now like bound to change like there is um i think divine masculine we need to uh, give their um do uh, by accepting that they there is no there isn't something actually fake here okay there isn't something fake here it's like the things like to the bare bones like all naked and um this is also like a new beginning to the soul like life-changing choices right 
uh, and also one person after the change, like committing their new 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 choices actually after that uh, here as a as a metaphor. So um, I think divine uh, masculine is finding uh, a empowerment in a particular ending. Uh, they are more about embracing transformation. Um, you know, what do they need also to survive in a like a different way? Because uh, there are some old issues here that needs to go. They cannot carry a particular facade anymore, okay? Um, it's, it is a bit different, like... Uh, this is a very lively... Uh, existence but this is a very transformational existence you see the difference in their mindsets okay now what was uh, in uh, in heart uh, of the divine feminine in the past oh the fool <laughs> let's play <laughs> and uh, we have a reversed mountain this is about you know we can conquer anything again like uh, at the top of the hill like yeah the, the divine feminine energy is like to me super super lively actually it is more about uh, transforming through like experience and having to go through life with its all elements joy sorrow uh the dramatic things, lively things, you know, enemies, friends, like we can transform with, within this livelihood. But masculine energy is like being more precocious, figuring out what it needs to change. Uh, there is some kind of a curiosity here actually being directed uh, to the divine feminine. Look, look at the uh, cards also facing, facing. Uh, to do here uh, the full energy can also sh uh, show that um, this is also the actually card of nothingness like nothing so divine feminine's heart um, can and from here many things manifest right I mean it's it can like shape into anything because it is so vast to bear things it's so vast to like to hold things and then um shaping shaping it uh, to the experience itself they are more about like opening themselves up to the endless possibilities and divine feminine wants to tear down the walls surrounding their heart they want to have fun they want to go with the wild they they want to go with the ecstatic energy of love it needs to be fun it needs to be silly it needs to um this inner fool this inner child needs to be nourished uh it's doubts doubts are no longer in decisions um any de decision is a decision and um, it's uh, which is gonna help actually help the divine feminine like to free its chains so um, even the mountain becomes upside down like you know with this uh, energetical setting we can overcome anything kind of thing it's like super lively energy and quite fiery fiery but fool is also can be fiery now let's see what is uh, in the past uh, in masculine's heart oh <laughs> masculine energy where the divine feminine has the fool masculine has the star uh, masculine energy is more about expectations and how something can get its best version it's like the love they want to have is like somewhere far away or they are like the light's reflection to the water it's like they are 
living in some kind of an image there, some kind of an ideal, uh, or this lover which, who is not within reach, like in the stars. Uh, there is, this is also some kind of a dreaming of a woman or um, like dreaming of something that is more um, um, it's more like to me something um, conceptual happening here and it is uh, very um, it's not based on experience it's rather based on um, some kind of an ideal or that future which hasn't arrived yet but divine masculine know that they need to do some positive changes in their life if they want to welcome this dream and they want to maintain calm cautiousness they don't want to jump into conclusions they are nourishing the dream uh, they are um, they are very much uh, thinking twice before acting and they don't actually want to gain uh, answer to any uh, meaningless conversations or things you know it's they are just keeping that hope and it's like they are talking with that image rather than the divine feminine it's it's the dream of the divine feminine it's not the divine feminine it's like the dream so there is a i think Divine Masculine, I see it like more of like with the Isfahan. There is more of like an image there. And there is with this energy, actually, the heart is very quiet, very quiet. Um, the star energy is actually telling us uh, with also the birth here. This is actually very uh, pure love. Um, uh, Divine Masculine energy wants to find a soothing love and uh, someone who can be there for them, optimistic, uh, you know, if something goes wrong, this person will stand by them, um, like, because they have, um, yes, this is a very cautious energy, yes, with the death, eight of wands, the star, this is like building in, in, in a, uh, a new system in life but of course uh, with some type of uh, new hope some it's not gonna materialize uh, all of a sudden but it's like they want that great future uh, it's not going to materialize very fast for them but at least they want to put their intentions and they want to move move forward um, And also there is some kind of a baggage energy here. Like they have to let go of some baggage that they have been carrying from the past, really. Um, this is also card of healing. So if anything like needs to heal, it needs to serve uh, to some kind of a future, future, futuristic uh, scenario there. Um, this is not uh, by the experience. This is by the image, like the dream, the ideal. Uh, Divine Feminist is more about with the experience. There is no single agenda here, but uh, with Divine Masculine, they have something on their mind. Let's find out now what is uh, happening in their now. We are looking at the now. Oh, this enemy thing is continuing, yes. Valide is also the enemy, but it is also a very dark energy. There are two uh, primal energies in Desta cards. Uh, it's like the witch of the north, witch of the uh, west, like in the Wizard of Ozor, it was different. Witch of the south, witch of the east, witch of the west. Anyway, like, like yin and yang. But Valide is really, uh, is a very uh, bad, bad, 
um, can represent, uh, let's say, like super shadow of quality in a in a in a person. Okay, uh, unprocessed, pu pure shadow qualities, and we have also the light of Ace of Swords. Now. If Valida is what has been hindering as like a bad energy, again, Divine Feminine uh, here like want to speak it. And again, there is some kind of a confrontation, right? We, uh, with this courageous actions we said, uh, we were talking about, just a sec. We were talking about uh, some uh, enemy hindrance opposition. Uh, what was uh, Divine Feminine was doing? Uh, she was, uh, I mean, Divine Feminine was like standing courageous. And now Divine Feminine wants to dissipate all this, uh, this, this dark clouds over the things. Maybe they are, Divine Feminine may be doing a lot of shadow work, by the way. Because there has been some uh, issues which has caused them like suffer. Um, some dark people maybe, dark people with dark agendas. Um, dark people with uh, introducing contradictory things. Um, they want this energy to to like diminish and and also there can be like a very um, a hardship which is like dictating to the lives of of people and it's like really uh, like a like the uh, endless fight of the light and shadow, okay? So there is no winner actually in that. They need to be integrated. There is no winner in that. This is... Uh, um, I mean, the whole balance is depending on how they are balancing each other out, right? In the yin and yang uh, equation, there is no winner. There is integration, like in the... Uh, Eastern philosophy perspective and as it is stated in many uh, mystical traditions and spiritual systems so I think divine feminine now again energetically speaking they have come to a point where they see definitely the shadow or what has been darkening maybe with this past attitude that they want to integrate, they want uh, divine feminine want, wanted to go around this dark energy, or in a way with this attitude balancing here so that it cannot overtake. Uh, you know, um, divine feminine feels very powerful, but it's so also they feel like they they are capable of oh they are capable um of dealing with this energy embodying this balance uh which is going to actually maybe neutralize something in their life uh, there is an exciting event they are in there is something very exciting very much where everything is going to come together, that can be also with, uh, with divine feminines, that can be a very special occasion, by the way. And again, we have the gardens here. Maybe there is a special occasion they are going to attend. Let's see uh, what, uh, what is doing, what are they doing with the divine, what divine masculine is doing. Five or, oh. The cross and the five of swords, whoa. Yes, five of swords in a way can represent uh, Valide. And again, uh, Divine Feminine has ace of swords. Divine Masculine has five of swords. Hmm. Now, and we have the cross. There is a painful situation uh, 
Well, it's like divine masculine is like almost crucifying themselves, like feeling oh, very something very painful now they go through. Uh, there is a conflict, and maybe um, the conflict here is they feel like their energy going down, and that can be also a physical or psychological pain, guilt it can be, remorse it can be, uh, there is something with their credibility maybe, or that something uh, torturing them. It's very interesting, like while the energy is also very torturing and I think both the Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine is feeling um, that the pain is inevitable in, 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 in existence, but how we deal and go around it and how we process it usually gives the, um, you know, the meaning to our existence. So let's let me get one card here. Divine Masculine um, trying to find an information. Something is not becoming available to them as information. So they need this information. And as we have the Fox here, and again, communication card, Eight of Wands, maybe this information needs to come from Divine Feminine. But are they like a bit hesitant to ask to them? about this they need to process something before so that it can make sense so uh, at least the suffering or the pain can be meaningful there it can be for a reason for them they want to know and like why and how of things uh, of course, Five of Swords energy may put them into situations where um, that can be a bit remorse here, a, a bit regret that oh, I have been, I have behaved uh, a bit selfish to this person, uh, or I, I want competitive with something, or I push too hard, or I push my viewpoint to them, or. I think about the worst scenario and projected this or there has been something that was like set out of character not really belong to them again a projection so very contradictory energy they are in um, they need to know Otherwise, they are going to feel very painful due to this maybe trying to guess or predict. Let's see uh, what is on mind of uh, Divine Feminine now. Okay, so we have the Four of Pentacles and we have also the... This is a very interesting Four of Pentacles, by the way. There is a vase, books... Sphinx or Capricorn sign. There is a man sitting. There is a woman. I don't know what is being said actually in this cosmic deck. Uh, but what I can say that... <sighs> okay, Four of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. Now, Divine Feminine thinks that they need to be patient. Um, they know that something is testing them or they are like tested uh, some pain some controversies some imbalance uh, has happened again like they need to stay patient because time will tell. Uh, uh, Divine Feminine is already like close to the meaning. 
than the divine masculine. Um, but there are still some questions on their mind. There are still some questions. Like, there is this a bit to me, you know, how long this is gonna take. Uh, but at the same time, they know that they need to be patient. Uh, because disagreements and uh, other things, uh, with by time, um, it can be handled. Otherwise, uh, if something is pushed earlier, people may like lose control of themselves, uh, or um, it will be too early to speak something. Otherwise, things can go with frustration. So um, divine feminine is uh, not. It's like they are not like uh, they are not uh, gonna bring things on surface easily. They are very patient about something, and I think they are also wondering what divine masculine is thinking. Oh my good hum divine masculine now we have the dead now this is the tomb the dead and the tomb and the hangman it's like divine masculine uh, is supposed to change and transform uh, divine masculine shouldn't like uh, go out or go and bury themselves like to six feet under you know uh, I'm of course symbolically speaking but uh, now on their mind stop they say four of pentacles again uh, actually a uh, like an immovable card again hangman volunteer voluntarily uh, taking uh, time so here we can say this is like a pure meditative state Divine Masculine wants this pure meditative state. They just need to go to like their, this man cave, let's say. Um, and they need to be like maybe getting, um, putting themselves in a distance. And uh, there is an isolation here. Yes, the tomb and the hangman, pure isolation. But with this way, they can find the ability to, uh, to, to see something in new light. Because maybe the information they seek here is not something coming from outside, but actually something they can find just within, so that they step back and observe. Again, the fox was also observatory energy. Um, they are not choosing to take the central stage. Uh, this is very opposite uh, when it comes to that super uh, exposure uh, and display energy of uh, feminine in the past line. So they are really focusing to a different point and they wait. Um, it's not, it is now not the time like for them to Maybe that's why there is an image here, not the actual thing. Because uh, there are certain things for them maybe to move forward in their head, but they are not happening. In the past, maybe they have rushed things and it didn't went well, or they were so quick to decide it didn't went well, or it was like... Um, they got so entangled with something, now they need to release themselves um, from that. Maybe this can be releasing some old negative uh, relationship patterns, the death, the tomb. Something needs to die for them. And I, I think here, this is uh, in the mind section. This is about our rigid perceptions, pure conceptions, biases about things. So, uh, yeah, I mean, the mindset is like very, um, a bit black and white to me, uh, Divine Masculine's mindset. What is uh, on Divine Feminine's heart now? Oh, 
Oh, there you go. Now we have found the Five of Swords. And Five of Swords was there now. Okay. You see, that's why we are using the double decks. So Divine Feminine, I think in their heart, they carry the burden of Divine Masculine. Divine Masculine needs some answers, we said, in their heart. They are, it seems Divine Feminine does not have those uh, uh, answers, though we have also the Asiranta here. Asiranta, uh, maybe here coming as a representation of uh, Divine Feminine's uh, like personification of it. This is actually a family uh, queen, let's say. It represents a family uh, woman who um, really cares for their family, uh, but it represents, came reversed, um, like other people's uh, interaction to the family or other people's uh, influence or some uh, members of the family are becoming maybe problem, some social differences, economic difficulties between couple. So the where uh, divine family uh, masculine has this painful thing like on a visible uh, way divine feminine has it in their heart maybe divine masculine thinks that divine feminine does not understand actually divine feminine has it on, on their in their heart wow now, what is uh, in the heart of Divine? Uh, oh, Divine Masculine. This is Ara. And we have also King of Wands. Wow, very, uh, they also look like each other. Ara is a uh, Sultan. Uh, came reverse though. Now, King of Wands in the heart level though, it is actually good. It's very interesting. This is the family woman. And this is actually the family man, faithful man archetype. The lover actually who connects you with loyalty. This is the uh, the mother archetype who uh, connects with loyalty. Now this is actually a father figure or father candidate who values really uh, family. But Aral Rivers with the King of Wands, this is laziness becomes and a bit the denying things, uh, but. The heart knows though, I mean, there are things they cannot deny anymore. Um, some secrets are uh, also here, which hasn't been maybe spoken. I don't know if there is some kind of a betrayal story here, but the heart wants to take lead a uh, King of Wands. It's, it, King of Wands is like the heart wants to take lead but are our reverse feel lazy uh, or not ready for something but at least it has the intention though this is also the rich inner world of a person but the rich inner world of the divine masculine uh, cannot reach to a counterpart that can fill them with uh, sympathy or words of understanding. Actually, this is a bit like rebel at heart. They they rebel something. There is there is something. They don't want to also move themselves uh, with the reverse or all that, uh, or they don't have like the motivation yet. But at least that we can say that. Um, actually, the heart really wants to lead itself. The, the heart really wants to um, take the lead, wants to... This is like a bit self-autonomy king. So self-autonomy, auto, autonomous heart, uh, which is uh, ultimately going to prevail. But uh, there are some... I don't see... Divine Masculine Energy doing well with the family or the family setup right now, by the way. 
let me see what uh, is happening now for the uh, incoming time. Ten of Pentacles book, some financial truths. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so the book is about some truths and things are being revealed uh, around Ten of Pentacles, family, finance, finances, um, investments, security, visions about uh, a future like the feminine energy is pouring out all their vision for the future. No words to high. Because uh, they want to grow bounds. And Divine Feminine thinks this would be the most mature state. Divine Feminine is up for growth and exploration. And they are definitely uh, going to bring it out. And uh, there is a strong soul connection. There is something also, uh, something in the financial way, it becomes better for them. Let me get one card. Yes, period of prosperity and abundance. Divine Feminine is creating that prosperous energy for the Divine Masculine. Look, we can do this. Divine Masculine... <laughs> The devil, oh my god, the devil reversed, oh my god, Atamdava reversed, oh, now two cars are, this is about, uh, I didn't like it, I didn't like the energy of divine masculine for the future, Okay, now reverse devil and reverse Atamdava. Now Atamdava represents a woman in their life. Okay, this is a woman type. Now this woman type is uh, actually uh, this represents someone who is stingy, uh, like money grabber. Okay, uh, the devil. Uh, in some tricky ways, manipulative ways. Also, a shadow quality woman or a woman in their life which has a shadow quality. This can be also the valide. So the feminine sees the shadow quality of woman in masculine's life. Maybe approaching them like to offering something, but... Because uh, Atom Deva energy is super selfish, ladies and gentlemen. This is like the most important woman in the world and nothing is comp important than her being. The world spins around her. She demands, you know, for, she orders around. Uh, she's like, you hear me, you know. <laughs> she's, she's a bit uh, too demanding. Actually... Uh, she is very good to you at first, like very good manners, you know, super gorgeous look and mannerism. But later it turns out uh, she's actually, you know, disappoints that. But divine masculine is putting themselves in a position where they have to deal with this type of uh, personas. And the devil reverse, at least they understand uh, what is actually some people are not qualified uh, for relationship they are qualified for other things um, about taking just for instance so so I think uh, there is a dark spot they are in but they're gonna have victory over their strong emotions they don't feel any physical attraction towards um, addictive things or which may feel addictive or there can be some breaking up with a female energy they may 
because here there are they are all planning but here they are not facing with the thing they are confronting uh, they know that they have to come to the other side of a of a connection and uh, they something is not good for them they realize that can be also abusive relationships they may be also realizing they actually deserve better they realize their choices but you know these things uh, demand feminine life look at the cards i mean how sweetly actually arranged here but divine masculines this dark energy for for divine feminine darkness is something that can be balanced with um, not destroying it but simply with living happy living happy is the best revenge as they say right but divine masculine is like more of uh, they have to confront go through that darkness they have this dark thoughts they need to you know uh, there are definitely some dark aspects of they need to sur sur uh, surrender uh, I mean, not surrounded. I mean, they need to uh, deal with, and after this dealing, they can surrender for something greater. What is on uh, feminine's mind in the future? <laughs> Justice and the oh, puppy flower reverse. This is uh, uh, justice. The one feminine. I, I I can see divine feminines really uh, working hard on themselves and uh, there is a here a decision getting rid of addictive tendencies um, maybe this is like saying to divine masculine uh, I know the things gonna come to a karma Maybe we will pay for some things, I mean, in a way, not in some kind of a uh, punishing way, but like there are some consequences we had to go through. But in the end, it's going to be fair. It is going to feel just. It's going to... Uh, whoever like treats uh, the other uh, unfair... Uh, it's like we'll a bit pay it with their um, uh, with consequences. So deeds are very important, and uh, this is uh, also the soul self uh, of the divine feminine who is uh, making critical choices how they want to continue in their life. Uh, we have the puppy flower this is actually card of addictions and it's also about forgetting uh, with time so um, this is like uh, something has had enough uh, in divine feminine uh, there is a karma they believe it's going to play out and uh, some things will be uh, maybe hard to overcome but this is like um, divine feminine will do whatever it takes to move forward um, because like this is the only way which can bring some kind of a redemption uh, something may they still try to understand the pain of the divine masculine divine masculine Oh my God, Seven of Cups mirroring the star. Again, there is some kind of a Im imagining thing. It's a, I think here there is a woman, they go like what we could, what we could be, you don't have any idea, you know, but actually this is a, like a, there is some kind of an image there, which is not uh, com coming through. And a reverse diamond, this is also, uh, this is like an ace of pentacles you can think the reverse version is like some minor wishes which is hardly coming through but if they have any hope to actualize them if they have um you know there is still 
uh, a past element is still like coming from there. Uh, the life that they want to build will come, but it can be a bit late. They are uh, thinking about what is being missing though. Do I want so much? Uh, I know I have to choose. There is they 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 thinking about the impossible. The, it's very hard to have this because now they have the problem here with Atamdava. This is to me seven of cups, the reverse devil. This is about a person understanding what is not really possible in their life and actually starting to feel gratitude for the things they already have. This is. Um, to me, uh, you know, a person can, of course, have dreams and wishes and things. But there are also, when you get uh, and go for that dreams and wishes, if something is really being detrimental to your soul and becomes like torturing, then you need to question that dream, right? Uh, then you need to maybe change some direction there. This is what uh, masculine is questioning. Divine Feminine in their heart. <laughs> Fox Reverse. <laughs> you know, uh, no, the Fox was upright uh, in masculines. Uh, you know, it, we said intelligence and wit. Uh, reverse Fox is leave all the rationality at the door. Uh, hierophant, uh, let's get married. <laughs> let's, you know, Justice, Hierophant, Ten of Pentacles. Look at that. Let's do everything legal on the terms, you know, in classical, traditional way. Uh, <laughs> uh, so Hierophant energy is really... Um, there is faith here. They have a faith. Divine, Divine Feminine has a faith. And this faith is somehow... Um, they want to protect something in the traditional way because they don't want any foxes to to be near uh, to their 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 heart space, and they want this fox. Actually, they want to know what divine masculine has been thinking all this time. When the fox is reversed, we understand their mindset. So uh, in their heart, actually, they still, and they want divine masculine to leave envy and doubt if there is envy, but want to leave the doubt behind. Uh, but, uh, and they want to be, this is also keeping your eyes uh, wide open in case of a person's vicious purposes. And you see Hierophant's uh, light in the... Uh, it's like... And we have the book. Uh, it's like... And the justice, again, some light from the eyes. It's... How transparent things it can get. The Divine Feminine hopes it can be that transparent. Divine Masculine in their heart finally... With the door reversed though. Two of ones. This is the begin beginner's mind. Divine masculine in the future is going back to the beginner's mind in their heart. They have to now uh, gather their strength, it seems, and they are gathering their strength. They are uh, having this new... They, they don't have like a very solid plan uh, as divine feminine. But they have some decisions to be made. They can be still a beginner in the game. They can have some fresh and new thoughts there. Um, they will, uh, I think, use the, their skills and talents to actualize a different uh, dream. But they know that they got to relax and actually everything they can get their hands into and if they really love it 
and put effort can be true like more realistic plans they are making not the unrealistic plans like telling the divine feminine oh we are going to have a lot of money we have this no 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 divine feminine is already just having that abundant uh, energy actually very much uh, this cre creating activity you know uh, don't uh, look for some other way to actualize things there is a way here like uh, we can do it but i find divine masculine's energy very dissipated and uh, this uh, at the end of 2024 like i see divine feminine has really picked their pieces together but divine masculine is here there is one one more shoot and um there can be serious conversations uh divine masculine can make some serious conversations with places also of higher rank uh they want to achieve absolutely and they want to maybe find a common ground they may uh they want to achieve themselves they because they want to look like they have achieved something why because Usually there is a lot of projection in men also, like there are so much expectation right on them. So uh, they are not going to take something ready-made. They will, they want to actualize high hermit themselves and uh, they can really take a kind of a step that they always thought was actually scary, but now they are going to uh definitely take that second path uh, a path is hasn't been serving that, that that there was a lot of pain around it and in their heart they want to actually achieve respect of the divine feminine um they 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 want to be counted respectful look at him by the divine feminine They want to be respectful, energetic, influential in their heart. They want to be really, I mean, deep down, they want to be um, uh, known for, for that, what they have achieved. Uh, there is a strong, definitely, uh, situation there. But I, there is a lot of dissipated energy here. How many times we have a dead tomb, you know, um, multiple times they have questioned themselves in this part five of swords and the fox was the common card in our reading five of swords and uh, the fox are air energy which is more about communication and thoughts and they are difficult actually uh, this is about you have like the fox calculated the ways to go through a conflict but it has failed many times and now what you can do so you need to change uh, the way and if there is some kind of a uh, not so legal or decent way that masculine is in uh, divine feminine wants what is like the legal and valid way by the way the, there is a, also I find some type of an inclination like that. Let me get one symbolic card. A card what is in between them. Okay. We have the Gemini Mercury energy. This one says, remain neutral, look out for someone with whom you may talk about this stagnation. So our relationship has stagnated, our connection has stagnated. Uh, the, Mercury is also messenger and Mercury is now retrograding, right? In Capricorn and then later going back to Sag. Uh, Capricorn is the material foundation of life. Uh, and also, of course, finan finance uh, and work job. So 
there will be some uh, also like how you formulate your way up to the life some directions will be i think questioned there uh and yeah meditate meditator energy they can uh, come together talk about their commitment what type of a life partner they want so they are not parting ways actually they are um yeah they are coming together we can say uh there is going to be a lot of uh, things to review, I think, in between them. And it's like something like they say each other, you know, tell me what is the subject, what we are going to talk. Let's talk about this connection. Let's, what have you observed? What conclusions you have come? What you have observed? What conclusions you have come? What have you seen? What I have seen? So this is a element, communication, Mercury. The commitment, being a life partner issues will be reviewed. We have the Hermes here. So this is also uh, a communicator actually between the Olympus and the uh, humans. Uh, he often uh, leaves the uh, Ida mountain and he gives the message to the world. Uh, and there, there are also butterflies here. So there is a level of uh, playfulness, I think. Some playfulness can answer between them. Um, there can be also uh, back and forth with traveling. some fast messaging also happening and maybe a message even carry away one of them they are going to because uh, both of uh, divine feminine and divine masculine is not satisfied with the current situation and the positions they are in now um, there was something maybe they think boring banal or superficial in in uh, in the relationship or around them so they don't want to like identify with that content anymore. Um, maybe here there is some things that Divine Feminine wanted to offer, but Divine Masculine here is, uh, yeah, just has followed a different path. Uh, so how do they deal with their now uh, problems? Like what is the way to do this problem? Uh, because mercurial energy will offer them some help to find a solution so they need to go over the things they need to take the advantage of this mercury retrograde not to initiate something new but re-evaluating and giving space to each other to look at their situations will be good because um, they can have the chance to uh, approach their situations, what has been like bothering them. They can uh, try to approach it objectively, maybe in a uh, more neutral way. And a path maybe will seem to be difficult for them. But I think they need to like make the unconscious conscious so that they can observe themselves from a more neutral point of view. I think they need a neutral point of view. It's not about your truth or my truth, but what like this neutral thing, this common sense kind of thing. Um, this is to me, yeah, some communication, some experience also needs to change, okay? They got to prove each other that, uh, you know, what they have been like seeking all this time. They need to come with this genuine stories. And then they're going to uh, decide, I think, over this commitment and life partner issues. 
uh, can we look at actually the um, no I think I think we are okay uh, so uh, ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for tuning in uh, well I'm uh, very much looking forward actually uh, for the first reading of 2024 uh, these are very different states, but I'm happy to find the mercurial card in the middle. Uh, back to my uh, announcement, by the way. Uh, I am now offering this deck uh, to, to the person who purchases, uh, who purchases a Katina's Death, the full cartomancy reading with me. Uh, we'll also get this deck. So it's like uh, when you purchase a reading uh, with Katina's test cards with me, the full reading. Uh, I will be also sending you the deck itself. Plus, I am sending you the working sheets of these cards as well. So you will have a lot of notes, by the way, from I think two, three different also sources. You can study your cards. Uh, you can, of course, like uh, follow. Uh, also, there are other. Uh, readers in YouTube, you can also follow their uh, readings. I don't know who is currently using this text, but uh, with a search, you can, I think, find them. So there is uh, so many ways to be able to study them. You can also follow, of course, from my readings as well. But uh, I am giving this deck actually with, with the reading. So when I'm doing your reading, uh, with the Desta cards, I also introduce you some perspectives around cards and how you can make a reading. Uh, it can be also a good uh, in beginning actually to observe the energy of cards and also uh, your reading, of course. So it is actually, uh, I am not uh, uh, selling the deck alone, but I actually uh, here you are purchasing a reading and cards come as a present to you because for me uh, it is like uh, initiation to something you know something meaningful uh, your journey with the cards initiate with a reading so it's a good place to move from uh, because uh, this is a very special deck you cannot find it ev in uh, everywhere uh, again there are two versions of it one is Greek version, the other one is Turkish version. Greek version is uh, available in eBay, as far as I know. Uh, but Greek version's cards do not have double side, which makes it difficult for the reverse readings. And Turkish version has, I, I think, f for my aesthetics, has more appealing images. Uh, so if you want uh, this type of, uh, if you find this uh, offer of me appealing, please let me know. Uh, I will send you uh, the deck with a sh um, shipping tracking number. So we will track the deck. Uh, it is the safest shipping option. And also, uh, uh, I'm going to uh, pretty much pay a good, good money for the shipping quality. I so much care about the shipping quality. I cannot uh, uh, have a risk of uh, losing this deck. Uh, that's why the shipping will be with tracking and in the safest way. Uh, and of course, uh, you will get an envelope from me. You will also get other gifts and presents from me once you uh, purchase uh, Katina's test reading. Uh, everything will come to you with a nice package. Uh, it's like your initiation into reading with this deck. It's a really special deck. Uh, for those who are interested, uh, please send me a mail, email from... Uh, I'm going to leave everything at the comments below. Uh, please read the comment first and then you can email me uh, first come uh, first served okay so uh, if you want uh, be quick <laughs> okay so just letting you know uh, but very good deck absolutely and a bit bigger so it is nice very good cardstock very silky uh, silky I like that uh, okay friends so thank you so much uh, for tuning in i hope you enjoyed this reading uh, i will uh, speak to you soon uh, in the next readings uh, and uh, you can find the uh, information 
at the comment section below uh, with everything. Take good care, my friends. Bye-bye.